Welcome. My name is Isabou Iqbal, and I'm an educational developer at the Center for Teaching, Learning, and Technology at the University of British Columbia. This video outlines how to carry out a pre-observation meeting. It's for anyone who's new to doing formative peer reviews of teaching, or anyone who might need a reminder on what to do. At this point in the process, the reviewee will have thought carefully about his or her goals for the peer review of teaching. They'll also have reflected on some key questions that will guide the pre-observation meeting. And if any materials were sent ahead of time, the reviewer will have read those. Everything that's happened so far has been done to build trust and rapport between the reviewer and the reviewee. And at the pre-observation meeting, you'll want to continue to build trust and rapport. There's a few different ways that you can do this. One is to be really mindful of tone. And tone includes body language, smiling, eye contact, putting the person at ease. You'll want, of course, to revisit the reviewee's goals for the peer review of teaching. You'll talk about the context of the course and of the class. And then you can move into the logistics of the classroom observation of teaching. Some of the logistics that you'll want to talk about are the form. Will you be using a form? If you will, which form will you be using? And once you've completed that form, will you be sending it to the reviewee ahead of the post-observation meeting or not? Does the reviewee want you to sit at any particular place in the classroom? Will they be introducing you at the beginning of the class? It might be helpful also to review the process. So what happens after the classroom observation of teaching? What sort of timing? Should the reviewee expect in terms of getting some notes from you or hearing back from you? Another important piece is the report. What does the reviewee need you to produce in terms of a written document? Is it just your written notes or does it need to look like something for the peer review of teaching process? It might also be helpful if you let the reviewee know whether you need to dash off after the classroom observation or whether you'll be touching base with them briefly at the end of the class. Thank you for watching this video. Please be in touch with questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you.